Yeah, I know George Soros. He's spending all kinds of money on that. Anyway, uh, Fox News contributor Frank Luntz, he is the author of a new book that comes out next month, What Americans Really Want. I'm looking at the words used here, right-wing extremists, desperate Republicans, angry mobs, the mob, manufactured anger, astroturf, Brooks Brothers Brigade. I, I don't remember hearing these words coming uh, from the Bush White House, and I'm not a defender of the Bush White House by any stretch of the imagination, but I don't remember anyone saying anything like that coming out of George Bush's um, uh, you know, realm. There are political hacks that said some awful things, um, but this, really, called Democrats Glenn. mobs? It's character assassination is what it is. And it's something that was learned under the Clinton administration. They began this in 94, 95. We saw this with the whole Monica Lewinsky thing when anyone who said, hey, what happened here? If you challenge the Clinton administration, they went after you, they went after your family, they went after your business. It's a viciousness that you see on the left. There is a, look, but there, there, you right, know what, the, the, there was, I mean, look, I'm a, I'm a political, um, uh, talk show host and, and anchor, I have said vicious things. That's different than the administration coming out and saying these kinds of things. Then you have an official endorsement of, of this kind of talk is dangerous in this country, is it not, Frank? But this is what happens when there's no accountability. The Republicans are so weak in Washington that it is so hard for them to hold the Democrats accountable and the American people are legitimately afraid. They're scared that they're going to lose their freedoms. They're losing their economic freedoms over the past six months. And now they're afraid that they're going to lose their health care freedom. And that's what generates this passion okay. that I've seen all across the country. So, Frank, help me out. Um, you've been to these town halls, right? Or you've been to some of these meetings? Have you not? I, I, I've been to the town halls, and okay. even better than that, Glenn, I've been doing focus groups across the country. Okay, tell you me. You don't have to have a town hall. Yeah, tell me, tell me this. You notice the people who are angry. Are they GOP supporters? Because the people I, that, that I personally know, they're just as pissed at the GOP, if not more. The angriest people are actually those who define themselves as independent. Yes. Neither Republican nor Democrat. They call themselves conservative. But that's because they just want to protect right. the freedoms that they have right now. And for the comments of people like, like actress Janine Garofalo, it's hateful. And I, I, it's awful to use that word, Glenn. But what's coming out of the White House, the language that they are using, and that you see also occasionally from L.A., is pure hate. Okay, so and let that me... that is one of the great disappointments. You know, here's the thing. I have... I said all during the buildup of the war, after the war, you have a, uh, a, a responsibility as an American to speak out. That doesn't mean I have to agree with you. I strongly disagree with Susan Sarandon and all these pinheads, and I have a right to say that. They have a right to say that about me. That's the point. We have a right to speak. More importantly, be heard. Have some sort of forum where you can actually be heard and not dismiss. Now, my question to you, Frank, is you've been around enough politicians before. Do they actually believe, because the left, at least, has only been around rallies that are funded by SEIU and ACORN and everything else, that they do have these manufactured mobs, if you want to call them, where they come and they, you know, they protest, whatever, because they've been called and told to show up. Do they really believe that that's who the American people are at these tea parties, that they've just been called up? Or is this just a word game they're playing? The problem is that these politicians live in Washington, they breathe Washington, they eat Washington, and so they don't see the rest of America. Oh, boy. And so they do believe that it's manufactured because they live in a bubble. And, Glenn, I'll tell you something even more important, is that so many of these senators and congressmen who are voting on this health care reform aren't even giving the public the opportunity to be heard at these town hall meetings. You know what the new strategy is? Cancel the town hall meetings. Don't sit down with the public. Therefore, you don't end up on YouTube as the clips that you're showing. Okay. So the American people have no other choice but to fight to be heard. That's what's most frightening. They're losing their right to be heard. We are entering the most frightening time uh, that I can remember in my life in America because 
nobody sees the nitro. We got nitroglycerin in our shoes and we're jumping up and down. The politicians are, public is, everybody. It is dangerous. Fall to your knees and pray for the republic because it needs it. Frank, thanks.